Star Wars fans, we are at the biggest Star Wars party in the galaxy, and you all have been invited. That's right, we've got the results from our last snap poll here, the light, the light side, dark side results. Let's see here, look down at the screen, which path would you take, the dark side or the light? You have got to be kidding me. It is straight right up the middle, light side, dark side. Well, I guess that means it makes for great drama, makes for great storytelling. That's, that's really awesome. We got our next poll. Let's set this next one up here. Take a look at the screen here. Choose your cute creature. Are you Team Porg or Team Vulptex? Those are the crystal foxes. Are you Team Porg or are you Team Vulptex? While you're voting, we're gonna go back to the main stage where we have Anthony Daniels and the one and only Mark Hamill. Yeah. I'm joined now by Mark Hamill, who is walking away. It's all over. You missed it. We had a great conversation. Yeah, we did. It was wonderful. Mark, you, I think, are so wonderful with fans. You love fans so much. <laughs> what is it that you love about the Star Wars community that keeps you just coming back and giving? Well, they're just amazing. They're so kind and so passionate. And, uh, you know, they support you through thick and thin. And their enthusiasm is infectious. You see, I don't see it on a day-to-day -day basis. So when you come and you're face-to-face -face with it, and then they tell these incredible stories about how the movies have really influenced them or inspired them or gotten them through tough times or you know illnesses and so forth. It's just stunning. Yeah, it's got to be amazing. Uh, hopefully, I mean, it's, it's easy to assume that Luke's got a little more to do this time around in this movie. I always say I can promise you it's twice as big as my part in Force Awakens. Wow, can you even imagine? Can you even imagine a part that long wow. of that magnitude? Uh, I have to wonder, the, you know, obviously the new cast looks up to you, uh, probably comes to you for advice as kind of their Star Wars yeah. shaman. Have you learned anything from the new kids? Of course, and by the way, no, none of them come to me for advice. <laughs> Who's the shaman? Well, probably in this case, Ryan Johnson. Yeah. I had George, and I had Irvin, and I had Richard, and then I had JJ, and now, now Ryan. He's, he's, those are the most important people when you're making a film. And it was different because originally, I thought the movie would be popular, but it sort of just blew up around us. We were sort of the center of the hurricane. All of the younger cast knew coming in that it was gonna be big. See, so, you know, they were prepared. I should ask them for advice. Yeah. Is there, uh, is there anything you haven't gotten to do in a Star Wars movie that you want to do? Musical number, maybe? Sing and dance? <laughs> you know, you just, I was about to say sing! Yeah! Because no, no, what you do is you try and answer something that's unexpected and that always gets a laugh. But you stole my laugh, so... No, I don't, there's nothing I, I want to do. I stepped, I stepped on Mark Hamill's line. <laughs> I kept him from walking off. Man, it's all good. It's, are we good? We're still good? Of course, good? Great. of course. There is no wrong. <laughs> tonight. Uh, the last time you were doing this amount of press, you're getting all sorts of questions about coming back and being Luke again, what it was going to be like, knowing that, you know, you did have just that final right. moment. What's it, what was it like working with Carison and Harry, they would say? <laughs> and and uh, you would have to think, well, I saw him at lunch, <laughs> wandering around the studio. But you know, like I say, it was so unexpected. You know, it's just all been fun for me. I just can't believe it. You wake up and think, what do I have to do today? Oh, I get to go make a Star Wars movie. So nice. What's not fun about that? If you can't have fun doing a Star Wars movie, there's something seriously wrong with you. Is there anything that you want us to know going into The Last Jedi? Anything you want to tell the audience or the world about this one in comparison to the other ones? It's the longest one. But the good news is it doesn't feel long, which is really, you know, I remember seeing The Godfather the first time and being stunned at its running length because it didn't feel that long. I mean, if it's a good story and it keeps the audience engaged, it doesn't matter. I mean, a lot of the times you go, you say, if they cut 15 minutes out of that, it would be so tight. But uh, in this case, I think the, the length is uh, warranted. Awesome. So longest Star Wars movie, twice as long for Luke as The Force Awakens, at least. At least, at least. Yeah. Mark Hamill, thank you so much. I do more than rotate and remove my foot. That's a promise. <laughs> thank you. We've got more here in just a moment. Stay with us, we're just getting started.